You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, ABC Soap Opera fans. Real quick, we've got a General Hospital comings and goings update. Lexi Ainsworth is out as Christina Carenthos. Kate Mancy has been cast in the role, and this recast foretells big things ahead for this character, and we'll talk about that more in just a minute and what it means. If you haven't already, reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our General Hospital updates on casting news like this or spoilers, everything you need to know about your favorite ABC soap opera. Let's dig in. So, It was confirmed today that Lexi Ainsworth is out as Christina Carenthos. She's already taped her last episode. Her last episode has already aired. We're going to give you the final air date so you can think back on that. And it was a pivotal moment and very interesting. And she has been recast with Days of Our Lives alum, Kate Mancy. If you don't know who Kate Mancy is, she is a cutie patootie. She is a really good actress. She killed it over on Days. She played Abigail Devereaux on Days. She traded off the part with Marcy Miller for several years. When Marcy couldn't work, she had a maternity leave and just different things. When she couldn't work, then Kate Mancy came in, and then they, they swapped off interchangeably a few times. But it was Marcy Miller in the role playing Abby when Days of Our Lives killed off the character. By all accounts, it's a permanent death, and that was because Marcy Miller wanted to pursue other projects. Kate Mancy at the time was working on another project, so they killed off the character. However, unless there's a resurrection, you know, this is a permanent situation. If you don't know anything about Days of Our Lives, and I'll I'll give you this 411 real quick, the head writer at Days of Our Lives right now is Ron Carlovati. If you don't know that name, he was the head writer at General Hospital for a very long time. He created a lot of pivotal characters. He is an extremely soapy, fun writer. And over at Days of Our Lives, they will kill somebody and then they will resurrect them five years later, 10 years later, five weeks later. They don't care. They don't care how you died. You could have been stabbed and burned. It could have been a Rasputin thing where you were shot, stabbed, hung, (laughs) burned alive. They will resurrect you. So just because this character is dead doesn't mean that Abby Devereaux won't come back. But if she does, you know, they may have to recast. They may have to look back to Marcy Miller because Kate Mancy is going to be very busy over at General Hospital. Uh, her most recent work was not on soaps, but on the TV series Casa Grande, if you have heard of that. It's airing right now on Amazon Freebie. She played this really cool character called Hunter Clarkman, but it looks like either she wrapped it or General Hospital is going to work around it. General Hospital is extremely flexible about allowing people time off to shoot other things. Not all soaps are that flexible. The CBS soaps typically are not days. If they can, they will be but they can't always because of their enhanced and rapid shooting schedule. So here's what you need to know. Lexi Ainsworth played the role for years. She was great. Everybody loved Christina Carenthos with Lexi Ainsworth. Lexi is 30 years old. By comparison, Kate Mancy is 35. Lexi actually looks younger than 30, so she's playing a kind of a youngish Christina Carenthos. Kate looks younger than her 35, but she doesn't look as young as Lexi Ainsworth, so this might be a signal that they are going to change the nature of the role, that they might pair her with an older romantic partner. Lexi Ainsworth's last air date as Christina Carenthos Davis was April 27th. She is gone. That is the last time we saw her. If you don't remember the scene, she was at Charlie's Pub where she works as the bar manager, I believe, and she was talking to Dex Heller about the charitable foundation that her dad, Sonny Carinthos, started for her. She has this interest in working with at-risk youth, and Sonny started a charity in her name. I'm guessing we're going to see more of that once Kate Mancy is in the role. So she had this very pivotal, important scene with Dex, but it was less about her and more about Dex having this epiphany that maybe Sonny is not such a bad guy. So that was her last air date. We are going to see Kate Mancy as Lexi within a couple of weeks. Her first air date is supposed to be right around May 22nd. So that's about two weeks from the time we're taping this video right now. So what we're wondering with this recast is, are they going to ramp Christina up into a new romance? If you 
you don't remember, Christina was revealed a couple of years ago as sexually fluid, but since then she's not had a whole lot of action. It's been a minute since she's had any sort of romantic interest, so she is wide open for them to involve her with a man or with a woman or with someone non-binary if they want to go there. There's lots of options open, but right now there's really not anybody on Port Charles that they could, in Port Charles, that they could pair her with. Think about who's single on General Hospital. There are plenty of people that aren't married, but they're all mostly involved with someone else. And so it's hard to ponder who who would they pair her with. Cody Bell is interested in Sasha. Dex is with Joss. Curtis is estranged from his wife, but he's got two potential romantic partners. Um, it, it, there's just not a lot of options. And if it's single women that we're considering, Maxie is single. Sasha's interested in Cody, but Maxie's the, the one that springs to mind, really. But she's never shown any interest in being with a woman. So what we're wondering is if they're now going to cast a new love interest or bring back a past character to be a love interest for Christina Corinthos. Because this is a high-profile recast. This is not just some somebody you cast in this role and then you leave them on the back burner only to drop in occasionally like we've seen Lexi do. No, this is a recast where she should be front and center. She should have a main storyline. She should have a romance. There should be a lot to this. And so the very fact that they have hired somebody who is a brand name in the soap sphere indicates to me anyway that we can expect big things from Christina Corinthos. If you haven't already, reach down, click that subscribe button, Let us know what you think about this. Let us know what your hopes are for Christina's new character. And if you are a fan of Kate Mansey and know who she is, share your thoughts about that. For right now, we've got two weeks to wait until we're going to see Kate Mansey's debut as Christina Corinthos Davis. No doubt she'll have scenes with her dad, Sonny, with Alexis. There should be a lot going on. We don't know anything beyond that. There weren't really any may sweep spoilers about it so this is big surprising news and it's exciting news and if you are a fan of Kate Manzi you got to be cheering to see her back on a network soap opera it's been a few years since she was on Days of Our Lives she did a great job and she's just a fabulous actor this is a coup Lexi Ainsworth is a talent and it is sad to see her go but in terms of a recast this is pretty exciting Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.